It is going to be a little cool out there. Good hitting weather for the players, though. Uh, temperatures will be quite comfortable with the clear skies. Up in the stands, though, you'll feel these 50s. Kickoff temperatures around 56 by 9 p.m. 53. If your game's up in northern Iowa, I think you'll cool into the upper 40s by the time the fourth quarter rolls around. Look at this bright sunshine out there. We had a few clouds around early. They moved on out. We're 55 degrees. Little bit of a northwest wind, 13 miles an hour out of town, around 17 miles an hour, so providing a wee bit of a chill. 50 in Decorah right now, Iowa City 54. Fort Dodge, you're 54 degrees, 50s in Creston and down to Lamoni. But from the Mississippi to the Missouri, just about everybody's seeing some sunshine out there. KCCI News app, great place. Check out that hour by hour weather, 2 p.m., 58. 4 p.m. will be up into the 60s, and we quickly drop back into the 50s. Overnight lows in the 40s, and by 8 a.m. tomorrow, a little bit of a south-southwest breeze, 46 degrees, and sunshine to start out your Saturday. If you're traveling today, there is some cloud cover off to the east, Green Bay, Chicago. Indianapolis still on the mild side of that system that moved through here yesterday. 80 degrees, 78 in Detroit, cooler 50s in Rapid City, but most of the Midwest will be bathed in sunshine this weekend on Saturday and Sunday. This is that frontal boundary moving on through. It pushed across our state, but out in front of this, I think we'll see some storms fire, some clouds wrapping around this system. They're moving down south and maybe getting as close by as Rochester, Minnesota. The big story, obviously, Hurricane Matthew. Right now around St. Augustine, Florida, the good news, now it's moving up the coast. The good news is it's slightly farther out to sea than forecast models uh, predicted, but we're talking about 40 miles, but that 40 extra miles has helped things out considerably in Florida. It will chug up the coast. These areas you see here in purple are sustained winds well over 60 miles an hour. Look where it is off the coast of Georgia tonight at 1130. Our latest computer guidance takes it on shore temporarily right over Charleston. Obviously, that would have a huge impact there Saturday morning and then slowly pushes past the Outer Banks and out to sea Sunday morning. Future cast, just showing it to you so you can make your plans. But overall, well, there's not going to be a whole lot of cloud cover out there. A few noonday clouds, Mason City North, Saturday night, clear skies, Sunday morning, just a couple morning clouds here and there, and then we'll fill out the weekend with a whole lot of sunshine. Town to town today, a high low 60s in Boone, Osceola sunshine and 61 degrees. Temperatures around 60 in Greenfield, Bedford 62 with sunny skies. 58 in Pocahontas, 55 in Esterville, and you look for those temperatures to continue. 59 in Grundy Center with sunshine, and down south we'll see those highs around 60 degrees. Forecast for today, 62 sunny skies. Tonight, look at that low, 42 degrees, mostly clear skies. Here's your eight-day forecast. Sunshine for the weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. Oh, it looks so nice Yay. in the 70s and some 70s and 60s wow. next week with a few rain chances. But once the fields dry out, I mean, this is going to be Absolutely. harvest spectacular. I tell you.